Where's he going? Everyone's off. The only person, people left is me and the two dogs. And apparently, there's bear, bears around here. So I've been told. Bye. There's bears around here apparently that come down from the mountains when they're hungry. And also, you've just got things like adders, not adders, uh, uh, what are them, what's it called? I can't remember what they're called. But the ones that bite you anyway, the ones that spit at you. Bye. See you later. See you later. Take care. Have a safe journey. That's everyone off. Apart from the dog. Dog's thinking, what my... I'm still here, dog. <laughs> the dog's going to come over to me in a minute because we've made friends. <laughs> bye, bye. bye Wow Here I am all on my own I think I've got two dogs for company anyway Which is what I wanted did think this was going to be far away from the trappings of life, but really, there isn't like all the mod cons here. There's a kitchen. It's a bit of a party venue, really. You've got a fridge and stuff and a toilet and that, but now I'm completely isolated. There's nobody around here whatsoever. They've just left uh, Matt, Matt Adoian family and uh, Far as well. That's, I don't know if I've got that right, but they've all left created a, an amazing uh, Isan mill earlier with stuff I've never read before. Um, and I've, now I'm going to do a bit of stargazing, I think. And uh, yeah, turn off all the lights now. We're isolated, so there's no one else around. I think the local dog might pop in. Um, or they's probably chased the car down. Oh, who comes now? Look, look who's back. Did it, I've got some pork for you, mate. Oh, we're going to have some dinner in a minute. Don't you worry about that. All right. Making mates on your travels is the only way to be. Making mates on your travels. As long as you've got a nice treaty. Yep. Making friends with the street dogs. Diddly dee dee dee. I think I'm going to remove some of the beer bottles from here because the last thing I want is old dog over here. Uh, what's your name again? Tick or Tock? Or is it Tack? Anyway, dog. Oh, there's no need for that. No need. We don't want the doggo or the doggy. Making our old boulders thing there. I don't want the, the dog to knock over the bottles in the middle of the night and do a false alarm on the ghost shout. That's basically a monk's monastery on the side of a cliff. Right, just in the uh, in the tide, John, in the toilet. Um, I don't know if you know how the tide toilets work. You've got two different types of toilets. You've got like the Western style, and then you've got the other style that you squat down on. And, and most of them now turn to the Western style, but they don't flush. There's no flush in there. So obviously, this is what you use to flush whatever you're doing there down. I'll show you now, because I've just done number ones. Boom! That goes down and that washes that down, maybe two would do. Two's the magic number, yeah? Well, if you do a two, you've got to do four scoops, but that's for that, and that one there is for cleaning yourself with. I think I've got that the right way around. <laughs> Comment in the, I uh, no, I definitely have. But anyway, besides that, I wanted to point something else out to you. First danger of the night now. We've all watched Bear Grylls, we've all watched uh, the other fella. Um, but what I just wanted to show you down here was that. No, that's not a very big scorpion. 
and I know from watching Bear Grylls and all of that business that the little scorpions are the ones that can mess you up. The big scorpions, the bigger the scorpion, the less the, the, the bigger the tail, the less the sting. The smaller the tail, the bigger the sting. I hope I've got that the right way around. But yeah, so that's right near the toilet. So <clears throat> that's probably the first thing. Uh, obviously being remote and I've got no internet access here at all. If I get bit on the arse by one of them and it swells up like a uh, space hopper uh, and I'm right in trouble. But uh, so yeah, so just I'll, I'll check that out when we, I'm not going to touch it or anything, I'll go anywhere near it, I'll leave it there and there, do this thing. Um, but I'll just be wary of that when I come back next time. I hope I've got that the right way around. Or I'm going to leave the toilet light on as a guide light. That's what I'm going to do. Let's turn these lights on, hold on one minute. So I've got to do there. Something I've got to do here. You might also like to observe that there is actually no handles, uh, sorry, no locking mechanism on this door. There is a lock here, but it actually doesn't lock. So, uh, yeah. So if anything does come tonight, the only thing holding the door closed is uh, my rucksack. Man, wherever I go, I seem to get animals delivered to me. I don't know if you can see this one here. He's right here. She is right in front of me. Look, camera. The fuck is that? Someone coming over here. Is but let me know am I, am I rural enough do I need to be more do I need to be further away from civilization because as I say, I could scream my lungs off here and, and probably no one would hear me, which is far enough away. And if I really got into trouble, I can't ring anyone because I've got no reception on the phone. So I've got to wait now till uh, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Not wait. I'm going to enjoy myself till 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. But I don't know. I like to be scared. I like to, I like to, I like to, I think I've come to know that I like to put myself in situations that are out of my depth. This isn't even scary, to be honest with you. Everyone was asking me, are you going to be alright on your own? Well, yeah, I'm a survivor. Of course I'm going to be alright on my own. I'm the scariest thing out here as far as I'm concerned. <laughs>
Geil, Ali. No need to behave like that. Try to put a blanket over her. She wasn't interested. She truly is a street dog, and she's here to save the day for me, so I trust her. Uh, well. I wonder if that was a bit frightening for you. <laughs> Good night, y'all. Take it easy, yeah? What in the name of cock -a doodle doos going on here? Hey, you talk. You off skis? Good job. Good guarding job, even though I didn't need it. <coughs> hey? Is that in my head or can you hear that as well? That was for me and thank you Doey and Matt and um, Far and everyone else for that but I'm going to give it to the doggy because the doggy's been here all night. Talk the dog, talk the dog. Na, 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 na. Talk the dog, talk the dog. Talk the dog. Na, 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 na. Morning. Man, this is spectacular. I've been told here is like strawberries. There's mulberry trees over there. I think this is, this is a, Plot, plot of mud or dirt, I think. I'm not quite sure what that is. It's obviously something's happening. But you can see in the background all the sugar cane. And apparently, well, not apparently, but um, this region does a lot of uh, sugar cane, rubber plants, and rice, which obviously a lot of Thailand does. But I think it's quite a big economy for this part of Thailand. Um, man, this is spectacular. We've still got a long way to go, Vietnam. Definitely Vietnam. Laos, Cambodia. Um, and ventures further afield, that's papaya there. It's not the, I don't know, I don't want to get it confused with the fruit because I could be getting the name of that wrong. But yeah, anyway, back to what I was saying, we've got such a long way to go.